I've got a really unique sense of style. I like to dress like a comic book character a few pages before she realizes she has powers. <laughs> yeah. I like dressing like a five-year-old whose dad has her for the weekend. <laughs> That's my look. Yeah. And so usually when people will call me like interesting or quirky, uh, they call me sassy a bunch. Sassy doesn't have a definition. I know that because I looked it up, because I'm lonely, ho! <laughs> so look it up, and sassy means saucy. What's that, right? Saucy means pert. What's that? That's a shampoo. Look up pert. <laughs> Definition is sassy, you guys. <laughs> That's an Illuminati level of deception right there, is what that is. Even though there's not a clear definition, we still know what sassy means, right? Like, they just can't put mm-hmm in the dictionary. <laughs> See, I got called sassy a bunch growing up. I'm from the Rio Grande Valley. I was the only black kid growing up. Uh, no one was really racist to me or anything. They were super pumped to have a Scary Spice for their little skits. <laughs> so good. Uh, and I think they were too busy being racist to their own respective races. Like, self-racism is a big thing. Uh, this is what I've noticed. Did you guys know that the derogatory term for a white girl is white girl? <laughs> Did y'all know that? My white sisters in the audience, listen up. If someone calls you a white girl to your face, that's not your friend, okay? <laughs> They're making fun of you. Shots have been fired. Also, if you're being called that, you should maybe put your shoes on. You're in public. <laughs> Quit doing white girl stuff. You're at a bank, not Coachella. Calm down. <laughs> yeah, but, uh, no one was really racist to me, and I'm using that word correctly because racist is a very misused word. I hear wrong definitions all the time, always two wrong definitions. First one I hear is anything that even mentions the word black is potentially racist. I, I'll have, hear people having conversations, they'll be like, I didn't even like black pepper. Who is that, racist? <laughs> well, it wasn't before. <laughs> Unless you're referring to half of the group that's saying push it as black pepper. <laughs> But the second definition I hear, people will use the word racist to describe when a white person does black people stuff. How is it racist for a white person to do black people stuff, but it's not racist to think that there's black people stuff? <laughs> Thank you. Why you guys' white guilt is at a high, I'm gonna go ahead and continue. Um, <laughs> Anytime people talk about black people stuff or acting black, it's always the same thing. I've noticed this. It's always jive talking, pimp walking, neck rocking, snaps. It's some stuff you would see on a McDonald's commercial. <laughs> no one ever says, oh man, she came up with 200 uses for the peanut? She's acting black. <laughs> Sounds like most of y'all got that joke, but if you didn't, you need to dig into Black History Month next time it comes around, okay? <laughs> Peanut butter was us, ho. <laughs> Not me personally, but people with my skin tone and curl pattern, we fixed your jelly sandwiches, so you're welcome. <laughs> oh, man, it's funny, the kind of things that you'll notice when you're actually paying attention. Like, you'll notice not all inspiring phrases are inspirational. Like, you've all heard the one dance like no one's watching. Someone probably put it on your Facebook wall with butterflies trying to inspire you. It's not inspirational. Like, that phrase literally says, hey, you should be yourself, but in private. <laughs> no, like, you should be yourself regardless of who's there, regardless of who's watching. That is the point. They should change that phrase, I think. They should change it to dance like you are not the father. <laughs> because not a single one of you knows a more uninhibited dance <laughs> than the one that follows the fact that a national television audience saw that you're not paying child support. 